Welcome back to the workshop everybody and for an update on the bead roller modification project. So I've made pretty good progress on the quick release or quick set mechanism whichever you want to term it. Did a couple of experiments and uh, they didn't work out initially but I'm really quite happy with what I've come up with now. So initially I modified this toggle clamp, I shortened the arm, uh, put a beefier adjustment screw on it uh, rigged up a mounting bracket that allowed me to put pressure on an adjustment screw attached to the forward bearing block and that did allow me to create enough pressure to roll a successful bead um, but the problem was the tip of the adjustment screw was rubbing across the top of the uh, the screw applying pressure to the bearing block and uh, some of the research I did um, online I came across uh, Jerry Kirkpatrick's bead roller modifications and he's got this kind of idea and he's got a big pad on top of the adjustment screw and you can see it rubbing across and this isn't the most robust toggle clamp anyway so I decided I'd just build a mechanism that incorporated this over center principle and do it all from scratch. And here in all its magnificence is what I've come up with. So there is a piece of angle bolted to the top of the bearing block. It puts the pressure pretty much centered on the shaft. We've got a little link plate here uh, which allows for the, uh, the arcs to, um, to operate without fouling each other. Um, we have a two to one mechanical advantage on this pivot. Up at the top here we have the adjustment mechanism. So there's a piece of threaded bar. Um, I already had this um, piece of hex bar that was actually turned down. It comes to about here, threaded internally. So all I've done is I've just put a couple of tack welds for this setup. Um, there is a piece of threaded tube on the top of this piece of thread and that just makes it, and there's a tack weld on that, that makes it um, captive in this clevis. And then we've got this large diameter piece of bar and this is your adjustment mechanism. So turning this clockwise unscrews from here so turning clockwise just like you get with a t-bar on the original adjustment screw increases the pressure and then we come to the rear pivot and oh I need to back the adjustment off so this in this position gets a reasonable clearance between the dies and there will be slightly more clearance when those temporary bolts are replaced with pins and most of that slot goes away and there's a little bit of slop in the pivot because that's temporary but then when we go in this direction we just that's in line that's now applying pressure to the dies and it will be allowed to go slightly over centre and hit a stop which I have yet to position and that will keep the pressure on and then obviously you just release it and I'll either have a handle coming in this direction or one out the back or some similar arrangement haven't quite decided um, I might incorporate a little stop with a magnet so that it will retain in the open position but I can set the pressure on this to the point where I can still comfortably over centre this but if I come round to the other side Now, bear in mind this is 5 8 inch thick plate and 
this is reasonably stiff in, you know, in, in the plane. But just operating that toggle it's quite hard to see and I'm on completely the wrong angle to be doing this easily and showing you on camera. But you can actually see the nut moving relative to the plate. There's at least half a millimetre of deflection in the frame with the pressure I can apply very easily with this over centre mechanism. So you can see some of this is very temporary and needs properly cleaning up. But so far, making good progress. Um, so the next video will be this a little bit more complete and the, uh, the power feed mechanism as well.